you are a medical student and while you're minding your own business watching this video, the resident on call saw you and thought maybe you need to get pimped today and asked what are the fatal conditions of acute chest pain. He thought you were just surfing Facebook, but no, come on dude, come on dude, you knew better and learned something while having fun. Chest pain is either of cardiac cause or non-cardiac cause. Cardiac causes include myocardial infarction, myocarditis, pericarditis. Which of these causes myocardial infarction most fatal one? The patient could die within hours. For non-cardiac causes, there are non-gastrointestinal causes and gastrointestinal causes. Non-gastrointestinal causes include aortic dissection, pulmonary embolism, pneumonia, and mus musculoskeletal causes. Gastrointestinal causes include GERD, which is gastroesophageal reflux disease, and peptic ulcer. Of these causes, the fatal ones are aortic dissection and pulmonary embolism. So to conclude, there are three causes of acute fatal chest pain, which are myocardial infarction, aortic dissection, and pulmonary embolism. How to differentiate between these diseases through history, medical examination, labs, and imaging. First, let's discuss myocardial infarction. Myocardial infarction is a condition in which the coronary artery supplying the heart gets blocked to the extent that no blood flow, blood flow can reach the cardiac muscle, leading to the infarction of these muscle ischemia and to the chest pain. We know this by history by asking about the duration of the pain, which usually is minutes, does not exceed half an hour. We also ask about the site and character of the pain, which is substernal or midline. And the character of the pain is usually dull aching, tightness, heavy chest pressure, or squeezing. This pain radiates to the arms or jaw and is of an exertional type, meaning when the patient is doing a physical activity, he feels the pain the most, or he, most, or he had this attack of pain just after doing physical activity. In addition to history of the pain, we need to ask about the history of smoking, history of hypertension, history of hyperlipidemia, and history of diabetes. What are the tools to confirm? ECG is a must, and cardiac enzymes such as troponin. In this ECG, we can see that there is ST segment elevation, which is the whole mark of diagnosis of myocardial infarction in lead 2 and 3 and AVF. The next disease is aortic dissection. This is a condition where the wall of the aorta is tore apart, that the blood starts to escape from the inside of the aorta into its wall and even if it ruptures to the outside. When we analyze the pain of aortic dissection, we should ask for duration, which is seconds to minutes, the site and character, which is substernal at site, and it's of a tearing character, and it radiates to the back, but it's not exertional, meaning it was a sudden pain that was not preceded by exercise or physical activity. In addition to this, we need to ask about the history of hypertension, we need to ask about the history of smoking, and if there was an aortic aneurysm diagnosed previously. Tools to confirm aortic dissection is CT angiogram. As seen in the CT, the aorta's wall is bulging and there is escape of blood from inside of the aorta to the outside. Pulmonary embolism is a condition where an embolus travels from the venous system into the heart and from the heart, it escapes into the pulmonary arteries, either the pulmonary main trunk or when it branches off into the right and left pulmonary artery. The duration of this pain is seconds to minutes. The site of the pain is at one side of the chest and its character is sharp and pleuritic, meaning the patient is taking his breath, the pain is increased, and it does not radiate nor is it preceded by exertion. In addition to this, we need to ask about any history of recent hospitalization or surgery that led to immobilization, presence of pain in calf muscles, presence of malignancy, DVT. We can see in this picture that the right leg is swollen and red in color in comparison to the left leg, and this is most probably because of a DVT. The tools to confirm pulmonary embolism are D-dimer, and the gold standard is CT angiogram, and as seen in this 
city, there is a clot that, that blocks the, the branches of the pulmonary artery main trunk.